after the release of Big God Big Love last Christmas of 2020, there were resounding feedbacks to make another song ID for Feast West. And that's where the idea came about. A song that can combine the main Feast West theme and the anniversary theme that can be sung all throughout the seasons. This song was created at the height of the pandemic. So you can just imagine how difficult it is to convey a message of hope and wrap it in a song. So I asked help from our fellow uh, Feast West servants to, to help me craft this song. And along the way, challenges and assaults from the enemy started to come in from all directions. COVID cases increased drastically across Singapore. And, and you know, all these happened at the time while we are making the song. So we can see how, how the enemy begins his work to stop us. Because he knows that this song will bless a lot of people once it's already out there. So we stepped up and with full force, today we are not only releasing this in YouTube, this song is also now available in Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Shazam. We are, we are making our presence felt across all these uh, music streaming platforms so that it can reach not just for our uh, Feast West Global, but to the far reaches of the world, the unchurched. This, I believe, is what we are called for. So, if you see yourself in a rock bottom and life throws you a curve, just remember, hindi lahat ng panahon nandiyan ka. There is a light at the end of the road there is a cross above your storms. There is a life of Sagana in Christ Jesus. So let's all together magnify His name, regardless of what you're going through today. And with expectant faith, declare a life of abundance, a life of Sagana. God bless you all. Wasn't an easy road, narrow and shaken, empty and void. But I realized that the end of that road is a light. I'm overjoyed. Fears is raging storm. Life's forgotten.
in Singapore. And also, good evening to all our online viewers in Facebook, in YouTube, and all the social media outlets there. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you are, because we are, uh, we are live and we are streaming all around the world. Yeah, and because we have brothers and sisters who are in, uh, some are in Australia, some are in uh, UK. So, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. Medyo kinakaba now, brothers and sisters. It's, I think it's been over a year. And uh, kanina, I felt the fear is all around me. And why did I say fear is all around me and it's covering me? Because most of the time, I want that I have the control. Who else here, brothers and sisters, want that they are in control? Raise or blink your eyes. <laughs> So I think most of us would always want that we are in control. We want things to go smoothly. We want things that will run according to our will or according to our uh, perspective or what we think that this should happen, this, this, and this, and this, and this, all our to-do list or all our things that we would like to happen or a certain day or in our lives. We have that certain timeline na nilalagay natin or that we created. But why we are in fear? Because we tend to make ourselves as the person who will control everything. And that is the downfall. Or that is when we have our doubts. That is when we are cramming. That is when we feel sad. That is when we feel depressed. And it's all around that. Because we forget that it should be Jesus. It should be God, Jesus, who should be in control of our lives. And you know, brothers and sisters, I will share this uh, thing that I'm doing in my life. And I think I've read this or somebody uh, shared this. I, I forgot who this person is, but I think... He, but he is on my fa uh, Facebook friend. He's my fa Facebook friend. And I think, siguro kailala ko naman siya. That uh, in their house, there's one page or two pages that is always worn out. And what are these pages? Brothers and sisters, ask me what. <laughs> wow. right. It is the page where Psalm 91 is. Brothers and sisters, if you are comfortable, if it's okay with you, I ask everybody to please stand up. And uh, wh why did I say that these pages are worn out? It's because these pages is always open. And by that, that by that, that it's always open, we are we are always seeing it or we are always like, it is like a, what we say, that if it's open, if it's in there, we are protected. Our house, everything is protected. And that is because we trust the Lord. And that is why we give Him the control. And that is why fear shouldn't be there. Because if He is in control, He is our pilot or he will be the one who will guide us all throughout and not ourselves we know that things will be okay it's just that we don't know when he didn't give it us oh this is our, your timeline no because he wants us to have faith in him we he wanted us to have that trust and faith in him and that is also His faithfulness in us to give us that will that we can choose. Brothers and sisters, if you are also comfortable, will you... Let's pray the Psalms 91. Let's close our eyes. And he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress 
my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wing you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor that pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look at your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. The Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to defile you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up. Lest you strike your foot against a stone, you will tread on the lion and the other. The young lion and the serpent, you will trample underfoot, because he holds fast to me in love. I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given us to pray this prayer because we know that you are in control you are our daddy god you have the control of our life amen
Lord, you are in control. We surrender it to you, O Lord. We surrender our life, our future, everything, O Lord. Sino surrender namin sa inyo. Yes. And brothers and sisters, dagdagan na natin ang ating pagsusurrender because when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no because He is in control. Shout victoriously. Clap your hands. Jesus 
Hallelujah. All glory belongs to you, Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 I'm going to call our preacher. Ang guapong guapong si Bro Don. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Pwede magtanggal ng mas. Woo! Ayun, ang daming bata. Grabe, nakakatuwa. Sobra. Hello, uh, kumusta ulit kayo? How are you tonight, mga kapatid? Buti, mabuti. Okay ba tayo? Ang dami natin, no? Grabe. And I'm... Woo! Palakpan natin sarili natin. So, and I... And natutuwa ako to see... Uh, welcome home, Team Pangan family are here. It's so good to see you back. Maraming salamat sa pagpunta. And, and of course, uh, my, my first timer tayo ngayon. No? Kita ko. No? Welcome, bro. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, Apo. Oo, he's my Apo, actually. Oh. Uh, okay, anyway. Woo! Three months, uh, medyo na-miss ko kayo eh. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, bro Rafi, na makabalik ako dito. <laughs> Three months na I was not able to serve you as, a, as your preacher. So I, I really miss uh, serving serving God and, you know. Nung, eh mamaya na yun. Mamaya na yun. Gusto ko muna kayo yung greet. Gusto ko muna kayong pasalamatan for coming over here ngayong gabi. And, and of course, sa ating worship team. Thank you, bro. Bro, more than one year ka na. Parang kahapon ka lang eh. Grabe, kinakabahan ka pa nun? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, worship team, for, for leading us, for, for leading us in worship, for praying, for, uh, leading us in praying also. Uh, nakakatuwa, no? Kasi tapos dalawa na rin yung worship song natin. Talagang bumabalik na tayo sa dati. At meron na tayong dance ministry. Nako, matutuwa kayo later. Woohoo! Every week na to. Grabe. Sobra. Grabe talaga. <laughs> so, welcome. Ulitin ko lang ulit. Welcome everybody sa ating mga friends online, sa ating mga kapatid na nanonood online via Facebook Live, via YouTube. Uh, welcome to Feast at Home. Welcome dito sa Feast West and of course uh, sa mga manunood ng mga uh, replay no kasi meron tayong mga kapatid na nanonood sila after a week kasi nasa America sila ganun or nasa UK Peace global po tayo eh talagang ganun eh so palakpakan natin si Lila so, let's let's uh, so ready na ba kayo Ready na kayo? Ready, ready na kasi ready, ready na tayo ni bro kanina. You know? So, tuloy natin no? kasi we are still, no? we are still in our uh, talk series called Blessing and Curse. No? And, uh, pag bumababa, nawawala. No? Dapat na ganun na ako lagi. And, gusto natin, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll continue with our lessons no? and uh, all the lessons and inspirations from the book of Genesis. Sobrang nakaka-bless tong Book of Genesis. And later on, when we get to the talk proper, talagang sobra kayong mabibless. I promise talaga, sobra. Galing ni Lord. Okay, so before we continue, I want to uh, to invite everybody to join me in praying our favorite prayer here in the feast. So I want you to uh, open your heart, no? Kung, kung kaya nyo open yung the whole arms yung ganyan to, to receive and to... 
to surrender yourself to God. Okay? Let's, let's all pray, mga kapatid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, amen. Today I received all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's, God's powerful servant. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's honor the word of God. Let's all sing. Lord God for talking to us tonight. Mga kapatid, let's all ask the Lord for help. No? Let's all pray to God right, right now. We come, into, we come into prayer, Lord, as we ask for your help, for your guidance. We ask for the Holy Spirit to be with us tonight. Open our, not just our ears, but our minds and also our hearts, Lord God, for us to be able to not just to listen but to understand the words, the messages, and whatever it is, Lord, na kumurut sa puso namin. Make it something, Lord, special in our heart, Lord. All this, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's honor the word of God one more time and by singing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand, please. Mga kapatid, that can sit down. Mga kapatid, thank you. And as you sit, can you tell your friends, you know, tapikin nyo, lakasan nyo ang konti, yung katabi nyo, sabihin nyo, you're already blessed. You're already blessed. Tapik, yung malakas na tapik. You're already blessed. Kasi, you are already blessed. That's the title of our talk also. We are now in talk six. The title of talk six, not talk six, you know? Talk six is you are already blessed. Ang ganda ng title, no? You are already blessed. So, pero ito yung tanong. Talaga ka bang, kaya nyo bang confidently, bro? Can you say that you're already really blessed ngayon? Oh, very good. Oh, God bless you. Woo! Pero, pero baka merong iba dyan na tipong, bro naman, paano ko masasabi na blessed ako eh? Kailangan ko pa ng mga $10,000 para mabuno, mabuno ko na yung, pina, yung utang na kailangan ko mabayaran. Or, dalawang taon na ako, bro, nagtatrabaho ng matindi, pero yung promotion, wala pa rin. Tapos, bro, yung GF ko last week, ex-GF na siya. Paano ako magiging blessed, bro? Ouch, di ba? Di ba, parang tignan mo nga yung katabi mo. Mukha ba yung walang problema? Wala, mukha ba yung walang worries? Or masaya ba siya? O yung mga nasa online, you know? Uy, b- b- before that pala, no? Before tayo mag-continue kasi nakalimutan ko. Gusto ko lang mag, mag, ano, mag-announce ng konti, no? Uh, uh, sa mga nanunod sa atin online, I want you to bless other people by sharing this ano, Facebook Live natin online, Okay? And pasensya na kayo kasi medyo hindi din maganda yung boses ko kasi masamang mayroon pang ano eh, konting ano, ubo ng konti. So, okay? So, also, it, oh nga, oh nga, pagi naman daw. Thank you, thank you. Pero, eto, meron pang isa, no? Sabi ni bro, I, I want to remind everybody, next week po, August 21, Sunday, uh, is our, ano, the Light of Jesus family, the whole of Singapore's uh, annual general meeting. Okay, 11 o'clock to 2 p.m. sa so Orchard Hotel Auditorium. So, next week po to, Sunday. So, wala tayong feast ng Sabado. So, meron tayong joint feast, feast and uh, may mass din. And then, at the same time, yun nga, yung general meeting. So, mag, mag-register tayo, no? So, meron sa servants, ano natin, chat group ng registration link. So, if you haven't registered yet, 
please register. So kung wala po kayong link, uh, talk to Bro Rafi later no, para makapag-register tayo. Ang sarap daw ng food. Ang, ang sarap. Kasi you feast west yung mag-prepare. Eh. Kaya the best. Malamang may lichon. So, okay? So, <laughs> so isa pa, isa pa. Sabi ko, sa, last week napaalala sa atin ni Bro yung program natin dito sa feast. No? Yung small is big. So we, we ask you, we encourage you to give not just treasure, no? Our time, our talent, katulad ng mga singers natin, napakagaling, sobra. Thank you, Lord. Share your time, share your talent, and, and share your treasure also. Okay? Alright, so, let's continue. So, nasa na tayo? Sabi ko kanina yung worries, di ba? Mukha ba tayong confident ba tayo na sabihin na we are really blessed? Right? Pero sabi nga natin, di ba? Sabi natin, may utang ka pa, ang dami mo pang tinatrabaho, paano ko masasabi na blessed ako? I have, I am still, you know, still working on mending my ano, relationships sa family. You are working so hard to, to, to get that promotion, you know. Pero, pag, pag binalikan natin, You know, pag binalikan natin yung mga inaaral natin, we, we all know that blessing is not just about money, right? It's not just about things that you get, the things na, or relationship na minimithi mo yung forever. Hindi lang, right? Right, remember last week, sabi ni Bro Rafi, remember that blessing na tinuro sa atin last week. What is that? Tandaan nyo ba? The biggest blessing that we can have is a life with the blesser. Amen? That's the biggest blessing. Pakita natin, no? The biggest blessing is life with the blesser. Paano yun? It's like you're living, if you're living with the blesser, if you are, if you, if you have Jesus as the center of your life, or if you are, you know, nag-journey ka ngayon, pero you have Jesus as as someone that is uh, giving you light, di ba? Then you are already blessed. No? Hindi siya yung about money, it's hindi siya yung about girlfriend na hinahanap mo, but it's about believing, no? That God has already given you everything that you need to earn that relationship, to earn that promotion, and to earn that money na gusto niyong makuha. Binigay na sa'yo ni Lord lahat. Andiyan na siya. All you need to do, mga kapatid, is trust the Lord. Trust Him. Dadating din siya. Okay? Nag-share ako ng konti. Kasi nga, last few, a couple of weeks ago, sin, sabi din ni, ni Sis Jeline na when we, when we put ourselves na mag, maglagay ka ng listahan ng mga magtotok, Minsan hindi mo pa alam talaga kung anong title ng to or kahit title di mo pa alam eh. Hindi mo pa alam kung anong matatapat sa iyo. And then nagkataon na parang siguro nga kasi sobrang excited ko nang umakyat dito. Four weeks ago, nilagay ko na yung pangalan ko, talk number six. Nasa talk two pa lang. Talk number six. Ano kaya ang talk number six? Tapos sobrang special, you are already blessed. And later on, makikita natin kung bakit ko siya gustong, bakit na sobrang na-bless ako sa talk na to. Kasi, mga last year, mga one year na, one year na, I, I got this, I got this sobra, sobrang big promotion talaga. Promotion sa office. Na, pero, reluctant ako yung parang, kailangan ko ba to? Parang ganun. Kasi alam ko kung anong mga kadikit dun eh. Alam ko yung mga <laughs> mangyayari, yung mga tipong gabi-gabi, dalawa, tatlong oras, nasa call ka kahit alas dosin na madamag ng gabi. Alam kong mangyayari yun eh. Kaya sabi ko, what? Kailangan ko ba to? You have all those worries and, and things na iniisip mo. Hindi pa ito. Binigay na ni Lord sa'yo pero iniisip mo yung problema eh. You know? I don't know if you have that too. Pero that's, that's just happened to me the last, the last year. Until, until the last... Until, until ngayon. Hindi, hindi pa na siya nawawala. And... <laughs> Pero minsan, naisip mo, ito bang, itong worry, minsan, di mo rin siya maintindihan. It's, worry isn't rational, di ba? 
Kasi example lang eh. Both mahirap, mayaman, they both worry over money. Di ba? Ang labo, di ba? Di ba? So yung mga, yung mga worries natin, yung mga issues natin sa buhay, yung mga problema natin, yung mga deliverables natin, mga kailangan natin i-produce, no? Sometimes, iniisip ko, I, I'm really so blessed kasi nung inaaral ko tong talk na to, and then I was like, I'm not new sa Fis na rin. No? We've been here for six years. And, and, and because of that blessing, because of that grace that we receive here in the feast, you, you start to learn you know, how, to, how to work with these problems that you receive. Andyan yung mga worries. Hindi ko siya... <laughs> kasi warrior ako. High school pa lang ako. Yun na yung lumalabas sa personality test ko. High school, pag-college mo, magka-college ka, yun na yung lumalabas. Warrior ako. Nag-college ako, magka-graduate ako, warrior ako, sabi ng counselor, ganyan. Sa trabaho, personality exam, warrior ako. Talagang warrior ako. And my wife can attest to that. And uh, my own family can attest to that. But the difference now is that you have been walking with the Lord. You have been in the face for so many years already. And you, you are learning a lot na, yes, nandyan yung worry, pero I don't feel like kind of that negative, I feel that negative emotion around me, pero hindi ko siya dinideny na eh. Hindi ko siya kinakast out or I don't run away from it. Kasi, you know, ang, ang, ang tinuturo sa atin is you, you pray for it, right? Andyan yung worries Andyan yung problema, andyan yung issues, anxieties, and everything. And it's not gonna go away. And, and what's being taught to us is, is embrace that. Feel it, no? Before God's presence. Para ma, maramdaman natin. Sabi nga ni bro, brother Bo, be with your problems. No? Ramdamin mo yung problema mo kasi mas magiging closer ka kay Lord. Amen? Kasi itong mga feeling natin na ng worries and anxieties and everything. Ano yan eh, dala din yan ng something na akala lang natin na everything is dependent, depending on us. No? Parang lahat nakadependa sa'yo. Na pag hindi mo ito nagawa, magka-crumble yung buhay ng mga tao or ma- mawawala ng trabaho yung, yung, yung mga tao or gugunaw yung mundo. You know, but it's not true, right? Sabi nga sa Psalms 127 verse 1, unless the Lord builds the house unless the lord tandaan niyo to ha? unless the lord builds the house the little, the builders will continue laboring in vain diba parang so we have to we have to declare no we have to declare sa buhay natin we know na yung yung mga mga biyaya yung mga blessings and everything yung 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 provisions we all know that isa lang yung source nun eh. God, God, God himself. Di ba? You, you probably will have a lot of uh, businesses. May maganda yung trabaho mo. Pareho kayong mag-asawa. Yan, you have a lot of income streams. Pero we know na ang pinanggagalingan nun, si Lord lang. Di ba? And so, anong gusto kong sabihin? Why am I telling you this? Because we have to decide no na kailangan nating i-declare sa buhay natin that we have to trust trust natin kay God in ating mga blessings right amen so kahit anjan pa yung mga problema well anjan hindi mawawala yan pero sabi ko nga sa, sa personal kong experience i i feel more relaxed now you know pag anjan yung problem pero <laughs> My wife can attest to it. Sometimes nagdilimutan ko and ang dami kong sinasabi sa kanya, nagraranta ko kung ano-ano mga reklamo ko sa buhay. And then he, she will listen and then and then after that what she will just remind me, have you prayed for it? And then marirealize mo, yes. You have to pray for it. You have to be with God. 'Di ba? Kasi if 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 you are with him, if you are trusting deeper, And, and, and telling yourself, declaring it, that you are already blessed, 
then you are already blessed. Amen? So you have to truly believe that. Kasi we are living with a blesser. Tama ba? Amen? So ayan. So which brings us to our very powerful message today na hindi na bago kasi yun din yung title ng talk natin. Ulitin natin, tapikin mo ulit yung katabi mo. Bro, you are already blessed. Okay, yun yung big message natin. That's talk number six. And that's our big message tonight. You are already blessed. So, tingnan nyo, tingnan nyo yung phone nyo. Buksan nyo yung phone nyo. Punta, alam ko, may mga Instagram tayo, di ba? And if you search sa inter- Instagram, search mo yung hashtag blessed. Tingnan mo kung ilang milyong post meron. The last time I checked, 144 million yung hashtag blessed. Ganun kadami. Check nyo nga. <laughs> kung ganun pa rin siya. 144 million, right? Bakit? What, what does blessing mean ba? Ano yan ang sabihin nun? Diba? Parang, okay, minsan na-hatching tayo, diba? If we sneeze, sabihin ng katabi, uy, bro, God bless you. Kasi parang it's, uh, ano, diba? It's good health, diba? And good health is a blessing, right? So that's why we said, God bless you. When we, when we, before we eat the food, we bless the food. Kasi yung food is nourishment and being nourished is being blessed, right? That's why we blessed. And so, ito na. Ito na nga yung mga pinapost natin sa social media. We say, hashtag bless. Finally, na-promote din. Finally, after two and a half years, I was able to go home and be with my family. Burakay, hashtag bless. Woo! Hashtag bless, ito na, finally, first car. Hashtag bless, finally, my forever. Hashtag bless. Finally, di ba? Ang, 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 kaya lang minsan ang nakakainis, may mga friends tayo, sabi na, sana all. Eto na nga, sabi ni Lord, lahat tayo blessed. Sana wag ka na mag-comment ng sana all. We are all blessed kasi we are already blessed, di ba? Amen? Okay. Now, going back sa talk natin. Going back sa Genesis. Dito sa Genesis, we will learn a deeper, richer, and better meaning ng blessing. Okay? So, we have three, actually. That's post. Ah, there you go. First is abundance of life. Abundance of life. Ability, ability to rule. And then dignity to make choices. So, bakit? Right? We, we learned in, in Genesis, no? Sa una pa lang, anong sabi ni Lord? Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. So we were blessed with the ability to multiply. Tama? So that's the biggest blessing na makukuha natin sa, sa pag-aaral natin ng Genesis. Pangalawa, ability to rule. Di ba sabi ni Lord? Partner, we partner with the God, no? With God, our Creator. Sabi ni Lord, represent Him in the world and oversee His creation. So we have that ability to rule. Amen? At number three na blessing na matututunan natin dito sa Genesis, ito pinakamatmatindi. Dignity to make choices. Laki, di ba? This is huge, right? Dignity to make choices. Sadly, sa mga naaral na natin, because of human pride, because of pride in humans, humans' uh, weaknesses, we choose or we, our, our choices is usually curse of our blessings. Now, even if God has already, has already chosen to bless you, pero dahil sa kakulitan mo, dahil sa nagmamadali ka, you want to grab that blessing in your own terms, Instead na ma-bless ka, naka-curse ka. But the truth, it, truth, mga kapatid, it's not, God did not want us to be cursed, right? It's us. We curse ourselves because of our, our selfish, and sorry for the word, stupid, stupid decision sa buhay natin. Tama? And, and, and itong kwento na itutuloy natin sa Genesis, we, we talk about Adam and Eve, 
we, we spoke about the story of Noah, the story of Abraham last week lang, and now we will be talking about this very colorful, wild story ni Jacob. Okay, so tapos na po yung aking uh, introduction. <laughs> introduction pa lang yun. So nasa talk proper na tayo. Okay, nandyan pa ba kayo? Okay, hindi ako marunong mag-joke eh. Kaya kasensya na. Wala, di, wala, wala ako. Hindi rin ako marunong kumanta. Kaya wala, wala, wala. So sorry. So we'll just talk about Jacob. Okay ba? Okay ba tayo dyan kay Jacob? Let's talk about Jacob. So kilala nyo si Jacob. Sino si Jacob? Si Jacob siya yung ano, di ba? Uh, the father of tw- the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Pero, <laughs> alam nyo tong si Jacob, siya yung tao dito sa Genesis na he believed, no? Na he, na he, he was going na, he didn't actually believe na he's going to be blessed. Ganun siya eh. Kaya nga siya, ano siya, he's a schemer siya. He steals blessings also for himself. No, he manipulates, he hurt people, especially his own family. Ganun si Jacob. Sabi niyo siguro, si Jacob ba yan na nasa Bible? <laughs> Di ba? Yes, si Jacob po yan. May kapatid, no? Sabi nga ni Bro Rafi last week, hindi tinatago sa Bible yung mga masasama. Sinusulat pa rin, hindi fili filter. Kaya nalaman natin na ito pa lang si Abraham, like Abraham last week. Eh, napakasamang tao nung no, umpisa pa lang siya following God, no? And, <laughs> to lo and behold, itong si Jacob, kung gano'ng kasama si Abraham, inangat niya ng isang level pa. Isang level pang angat. Ang kanyang sobrang, ang dami niyang ginawang kalokohan. And remember, sabi natin last week, o sabi din ni Bro Raph last week, na pag tayo, hindi natin inapakan yung, yung serpent right yung kasamaan sometimes nagiging snake tayo occasionally si Abraham was like that sa story right at itong si Jacob mukhang pinanganak siya na snake <laughs> hindi lang occasionally apo siya ni Abraham di ba so Abraham occasionally sometimes he became a snake sa kwento pero si 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 Jacob Mukhang pinanganak siyang ahas, no? He was right right from the womb, no? Right from the womb. Makikita natin sa babasahin natin later on. Manipulative na siya. Right from the womb, nag-rest, nag-wrestle na siya sa kanyang kapatid. Kasi we, we know, di ba? Now, we will read later on. So he was actually born a grabber. So I will we'll talk more about that. So let's read Genesis 25. From 21 to 26. So, basahin ko from my kodigo here. Let's all read. No? The Lord answered Isaac's prayer. And Rebekah became pregnant with twins. But the two, two children struggled with each other in her womb. So, ito, di ba? Siyempre, obviously, wala namang, hindi mo pa alam. Hindi nila alam nun, di ba? Ancient times. But now, of course, pag buntis tayo, and if you have family members or you have a spouse or your wife or your kapatid or whoever, alam natin na may ultrasound, di ba? Nakikita natin kung twin siya, yung, kung, kung ano yung gender. Pero of course, dat, dati hindi naman, di ba? So, sabi ni Rebecca kay Lord, lumapit siya kay Lord, at Lord, ano nangyayari sa chan ko? Bakit ganito? Parang may wrestling na nangyayari. So, yun. So, kaya sinagot siya ni Lord. No, sabi ni Lord sa kanya, and the Lord told her, The son in your womb will become two nations. So, pakinggan nyo to, ha? From the very beginning, the two nations will be rivals. One nation will be stronger than the other. And the older son, the older son will serve your younger son. So, and, and then, the continue. And when the time came to give birth, Rebecca discovered that she did indeed have twins. The first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair. So, Balbon, no? Balbon. So, they named him Esau. So, si Esau, siya yung panganay. Balbon siya. And then, reddish daw yung katawan niya. Then, the other twin was born with his hand. Ito na. His hand grasping Esau's heel. 
Kasi nga nag-re-resting sila sa ila sa chat yan. Gusto niyang hilain si Iso. Gusto niyang mauna. Si Jacob gustong mauna. Kaya nandun pa lang siya sa tiyan. Grabber na siya. He was grabbing Iso's heel. Yung meaning po ng Jacob, kaya pinangalanan siyang Jacob eh. Heel grabber siya. Okay? And napaka-importante nung ancient time, napaka-importante na panganay ka. Kasi you get the Bekora. Ano yung Bekora? The birthright of the firstborn. So sa kultura nila, yung firstborn lang yung nag inherit ng mga, like everything, the father's wealth, father's authority, everything. Kaya pinag-aagawan. Kaya itong si Jacob, nasa tiyampa lang, nini-wrestling niya na yung kapatid niya. At hinihila niya. Gusto niyang mauna. The face, the, itong phrase na grab the hill, it actually means to deceive. Kaya si Jacob, pinanganak siya. Hindi pa siya pinapanganak. Talagang manipulative na siya, deceiver na siya. And that's his life. No? Habang bu- buhay siyang numalaki sila, na paulit-ulit, ginaganso niya, niloloko niya yung kapatid niyang si Iso. And then, so we will, we will talk more about that later on. No? Kahit na sinabi ni Lord, diba? sabi na ni Lord kay Rebecca, no? through, her, through his mom, he already told Jacob's mother about his blessings, diba? from the start. Pero itong si Jacob, parang he still tries to grab that very thing that God has already given him. Right? So if we go back to Genesis 25, verse 23, di ba sabi doon, The sun in your womb will become two nations. From the very beginning, the two nations will be rivals. One nation will be stronger than the other, and your older son will serve your younger son. Ayan na, nakasulat na. Pero oh, ang tanong, how many times have we done the same thing? Nilay-nilay tayo. Let's reflect on that. How many times have we done that in our own lives? How many times did God promise a blessing for us, for you, pero we doubted? We got impatient? And the worst is, we did things our own way. Kasi pakiramdam natin, it's time na natin makuha yung blessing na yun. Kaya ito, remember this, brothers and sisters, Okay? Remember that you have a God who knows the exact blessings you need. Basahin siya. You have a God who knows the exact blessings you need. He knows how, how He should give it to you. He knows where, where He should give it and when He should give it. So let's stop grabbing the blessing na that God already promised that He will give you. Wag na nating madaliin, wag na nating shortcut because time will come. The right time, the right way. We will receive that very blessing that God has already given us. Sabi sa message later, la kanina, anong sabi? You are already blessed. Tapikin niyo ulit yung katabi niyo. You are already blessed. Okay? <laughs> So let's continue reading, no? 25, continue natin yung kwento ni Jacob and Esau, uh, verses 27 to 34. Let's all read. So the, gro- the boys grew up, no? Esau became a skillful hunter. He was an outdoor man. But Jacob had a quiet temperament. So homebody si Jacob naman. So that's why si Isaac, he loves Jacob, uh, no, Esau. Kasi... Every time na nasa labas si Iso, he hunts. So dinadala niya yung nahunt niya and niluluto niya yun. And that's favorite ni Isaac. Kaya love niya si Isaac. Ito namang si Jacob, nag nasa bahay kasama yung nanay. Ito naman, love siya ni Rebecca, yung mami. So ganun, no? Grabe, no? Nung panahon, may mga ganyan na. So, let's continue. So one day, when Jacob was cooking some stew, Iso arrived home from the wilderness, exhausted and hungry. Iso said to Jacob, I'm starved. Alam mo yung pag sinabi mo yung I'm starved, parang, parang mamamatay ka sa gutom pag sinabi mo I'm starved, di ba? 
Ganon. So, ganon yung pakiramdam niya. Malamang na malamang. So, given, give me some of that red stew, sabi niya. Sabi ni Jacob, all right, but trade me your rights as the firstborn son. Grabe si Jacob, no? Kita niya kagad. Kita niya kagad yung, ano, yung pagkakataon na manloko to, to covet para makuha yung pekora. Sinamantala niya kagad yung kahinaan ng kapatid niya. So sabi ni Iso, no? Look, I'm dying of starvation. Iso said, no? What good is my birthright to me now? Kung mamamatay naman ako. But Jacob said, dahil nga, ano siya eh, talagang manloko siya eh. Kailangan sigurado ako. Sabi niya kay Iso, First, you must swear that your birthright is mine. So Iso swore an oath to his brother Jacob. Then Jacob gave Iso some bread and lentils too. Iso ate the meal, then got up and left. He showed contempt for his right as the firstborn. Alam, alam niyo ba yung ano? Alam niyo yung, alam niyo yung lentils too? Sa panahon natin ngayon, alam niyo kung ano yun? Parang ginisang mong gulang po yan. Lentils too is like a bowl of beans. Pinagpalit ni Iso sa bowl of beans ang kanyang birthright. Grabe, di ba? But then again, think about it. It's an horrible exchange and Iso falls for it and Jacob gots, gots his birthright. Pero, ang tanong, di ba? Tanong niyo sarili niyo. Don't we often exchange God's blessings also for a quick fix? Kapalit ng may init na sabaw sa panandaliang saya. How many times have we done that, mga kapatid? How often do we give up something so precious for that fleeting moment of pleasure? How many times have we done that? So while we think about it, I'm gonna give you two lessons no, from, that we learned from Esau. First, never give up. Never give up the blessing you need most for the bowl, for that hot bowl of stew that you want now. You know why? Kasi the enemy wants to make that deal with you. Pag naisip mo na yun, andyan na kaagad si enemy sa'yo, bibigay niya sa'yo at ititem ka ng mainit na sabaw. Alam mo yun? Yung mga boys dito, alam nila yan eh. Mainit na sabaw. He will entice you with these bowls in exchange for your purity, in exchange for that integrity, in exchange for that love of your family. Mainit na sabaw, kapalit ng firstborn. First, first right, I mean. So never give up. Never give up the blessing you need most for the bowl you want now. So number two, number two lesson. Never become too hungry. You become weak to temptation, mga kapatid, if you come, become hungry. I'm not talking about physical hunger, okay? It's more about emotionally hungry. It's more about spiritually hungry. That's, that's when you become weak. That's when we become weak. Like Iso, no? he become too emotional. He become too dramatic. Saying, I need this or else I will die. Pag, pag ganun na yung naiisip mo, if you, if you catch yourself too hungry for, for affirmation, too hungry for af- acceptance or admiration, tap, tapikin mo yung sarili mo. Tapikin mo. Paalala mo. Sa, you are too weak already for temptation if you're starting to feel that. When you get lonely and, and, and you get too tired easily, watch out for it. Paalala mo sa sarili mo. You will become too weak when you become too hungry and you become weak to temptation. So let me remind you this, mga kapatid. How do we satisfy that hunger? We satisfy that hunger 
with the bread of life in the form of the Eucharist, in the form of, of scriptures, prayers, this, this community. You know why? Because only a life with a blesser that you will be satisfied with. Only Jesus can fill you. Amen? So don't trade your blessing with a curse, please. And pag medyo tinatamaan ka, paalala mo sa sarili mo, sabihin mo ulit sa katabi mo, kapatid, you are already blessed. Blessed ka na eh. Diba? Blessed ka na. So balik tayo kay Jacob. Kasi may mahaba pa siyang kwento. Pero I won't, I won't be reading this Let's, when you get home, no, basahin niyo yung chapter 27. Mahaba siya, kadugtong siya nito. Pero I'll give you yung summary kung anong nangyari. Kasi nandito sa part na ito, yung pinakamatinding scheming na nagawa, nagawa ng tandem ng mother and son, no? Against kay Iso. This is when Iso was asked, or he, he, he was with his father. Sabi ni Iso, ni, ni Isaac, this time around, mahina na si Isaac. So, feeling niya mamamatay na siya. So, this time also, blind na siya eh. Hindi na siya nakakakita. So, sabi niya kay Iso, anak mo ang malapit na ako. So, I need to give you my blessing. Pero before that, can you go out, hunt some, some best animal that you can hunt for me, and then when you get home, cook my favorite stew. Okay? And then after I eat, I'll give you my blessing. Sabi ni, ano, ni Isaac kay Iso, Eh, ito na. Si Mami Rebecca, narinig niya. So, pag alis ni Iso, tinawag niya ngayon si Isaac. Sabi niya, sabi niya kay Isaac, eto na ang pagkakataon mo. Eto na ang pagkakataon mong makuha yung blessing from your father. I will cook this favorite food of your father and you have to bring it with him and ask and pretend to be Iso and ask for that blessing. Ganon katindi. Pero sabi ni Iso, ay ni Jacob, but hindi naman ako balbon, paano yun? Hindi, magsuot ka lang ng damit ni Iso, tapos maglagay ka ng mga balihibo ng, ano, ng kambing, okay na yan, kasi bulag na yung tatay mo. Mag-aamoy Iso ka rin, kasi gagamit mo yung damit niya. <laughs> Perfect yung kanilang scheme, tagumpay sila. Basahin nyo po chapter 27, okay? Genesis chapter 27. And you can read that, the whole story. So he was able to steal the blessing from his father. Yeah, we call it blessing stolen. So ito once again si Jacob with the help of his mom. Cheating his way to get ahead. Cutting corners. Abusing, no? Abusing taking 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 ano yung yung ano nananamantala sa makahinaan di ba because of that blessing that he wanted to blessing na binigay na sa kanya ni Lord pero ito ulit sabihin ko sa inyo parang ganyan din tayo di ba isipin ulit natin let's think about things na Alam natin na binigay na ni Lord, but we're still trying to grab it, no? It belongs to you, but you're still shortcutting kasi hindi mo pa nakakuha. But if, if you are someone that, that, that is stressing yourself, no? You're striving so much for something, please stop, stop doing that. You have to start trusting. You have to start believing. Believing that you are already blessed. Huwag tayong masyadong magpakamatay sa pagtatrabaho. Mamaya, sabihin na, marami, ituturo ko sa inyo yan. Kasi itong talk na to, tatlo, tatlong tao, yung may hit na to. Yung mga, yung mga swindler. Yung mga, yun nga, yung mga striver. Tsaka yung mga schemer, yung mga pretentious, mga ganun. Taas ng kamay, are you, are, you this, are you any of this? 
Kung nahihiya tayo, wag na lang, no? Pero, are you any of these three people? This, these three people, no? Swindler. Ano ba yung swindler? Manluloko, manggaganjo. We have to stop swindling our way to your blessing. Why? Ask me why. Kasi, it will only hurt you and the people around you. And, ito, pinakamatindi. What? Ask me what? God has enough abundance for all. Amen? God has enough abundance for all and we have a God na napaka-generous. Yung blessing is oceans of blessing. Hindi tayo mauubusan, mga kapatid. So don't stop, stop swindling your way. Kasi He has a special blessing na nakasulat doon. Pangalan mo na. Totoo. Nakasulat na yun. Kaya tapikin mo ulit si, ano, ayun, tapikin mo ulit si bro. You are already blessed. Kanina pa ito nakatingin sa akin si, ano, <laughs> si Proche. Stop swindling your way to your blessings, okay? Yes, God has enough abundance for all. Okay? Amen? Pangalawa, ito, maraming tatamaan dito, yung mga striver. It's good to strive, no? We should, actually, we should. Because success comes from working hard. Tama naman, di ba? But, but, may but po. Ito na. You don't have to do it all. Kailangan maglagay ka ng time to rest. Kailangan magbigay ka ng time. Hindi nga kailangan. Kailangan mo talagang gawin ng time for the Lord, di ba? Kailangan pag uwi mo sa bahay, kausapin mo naman yung asawa mo, kausapin mo naman yung anak mo, kung nasa Philippines, tawagan mo. Hindi yung hanggang bahay, nagtatrabaho ka pa. No. You have done everything already, yes, and you prayed for it, and then what you need to do is surrender. Sabi nga ni bro, hindi kami nag-uusap eh. Ang galing. Ang galing talaga ni Lord. Surrender, and ito yung pinakamatindi, yung sinabi ni bro kanina. Detach. What's detach? Detachment means, yes, you work hard, but you give up that control over what happens next. Di ba sabi ni bro? Give up that control. After, nung, after mong magtrabaho, after mong gawin lahat, and you prayed for it, and you surrender it to the Lord, Iwan mo na kay Lord John. Let God be God. Okay? Amen, mga kapatid? Napapapalakpak si bro doon, no? Bakit kaya? Siguro may tinatamaan doon sa likod. Grabe yung palakpak yan, nakangiti pa siya. <laughs> Number three. Schemer. Eto na, yung mga nagpipretend na hindi naman sila. Someone that you pretend that you are not. Para ano? Para may makuha ka. You, you press, you, you, di ba? Pag sa social media, you post, you, you use a lot of filters and everything, and, and, and you pretend to be somebody na hindi ka naman yun. To get the likes, para makabenta, or, or whatever, right? Ito, ito, ito yung ano, ito yung sobrang mabibless kayo. You don't have to project an image on social media na hindi naman ikaw. Kasi katulad ni Jacob, di ba? Sometimes nga sabi natin, we, we use filters. Di ba? Pero ito yung matindi. God cannot bless who you pretend to be. Hindi ibibless ni Lord yung pinipretend mo. You know? Hindi. You know why? Hindi, we cannot fool God with our disguises. No? When you pretend... Even the blessings that you seemingly get, akala mo yun na yung blessing mo, eh hindi pala, it's not real, mga kapatid. Hindi, don't try to be a copy, copy of someone else because God's blessing is only tailored fit for you. Sa you. Custom made for you. For your own good and of course for His glory. Amen? Kaya wag na, wag na... Tigil na natin mga filters. <laughs> next week, next week, may kadugtong-tong ano eh. Si Jacob, kwento ni Jacob, matindi to si Jacob kasi dalawa yung talk niya. So talk six and seven. And next week, we will see there no sa talks number seven na 
itong si Jacob, talagang sabi ko nga kanina, baby pa lang, nag-wrestling na siya sa loob, no? Pero hanggang, hanggang dito sa talk, sabi malalaman nyo, even with God, nakiki-wrestling siya. Ni-wrestle niya si God. Matindi itong si Jacob. So, talk seven. Ikukwento yan ni Bro Rafi next. <laughs> Pero, eto ang matindi. You know, makikita din natin sa talk seven na pinalitan na ni Lord yung pangalan ni Jacob. Papalitan ni Lord at gagawin niyang Israel yung name ni Jacob. Alam natin to di ba, na pag-aralan natin. And eto ang matindi. This is what struck me, no? After so many years, centuries later, panahon na ni Moses to, ah, Exodus 3. Uh, if, you, if you can still remember, nung nagpakita si God kay, Mo, kay Moses, no? yung burning bush, remember? As tinanong ni Moses, si God, kasi sabi ni Lord, na uh, sabi ni Moses, how can I introduce you para sa mga believers? What, what will I tell you? Who are you? Diba? Tinanong niya si God. Ito sabi ni ni Lord sa kanya. I am the God of your father. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Hindi niya sinabing God of Israel. Si Jacob, ito yung panahon na masamang ugali talaga siya, di ba? He said, I am the God of Jacob. Isn't, isn't that amazing, mga kapatid? He wanted to be known as the God of the man who failed him many, many times. Hindi tinago ni Lord, sinabi ni Lord John. You know why, mga kapatid? This is a reminder for all of us of that very important facts about our God. Na ang Diyos natin is not just the God of the, of the pretty parts of our lives. No? Hindi. It's also the God of the ugly parts ng buhay natin. He's not just the God of our success, but also the God of our failures or struggles. It's not just the God ng mga victories natin, but also the God of our defeats. Tama? So pag <laughs> gusto kong balikan ng konti yung kwento ko kanina eh. Kasi about dun sa mga worries ko, no? Siguro, pag tinanong nyo ako, so, so bro, nag-worry ka pa. So, so, kasi nga, ilang taong ka nasa peace, sabi ko nga, I pray, I surrender, but then, <laughs> andyan pa rin si worries, andyan pa rin si anxieties, andyan pa rin ang mga struggles, no? And that's layer. Hindi siya, parang hindi siya natatapos. Ewan ko, itong last six, six months, grabe talaga. So I have this, a lot of these problems sa office na it's, it's, it's big. Pero, ang nakakatuwa, with God's grace, parang lagi nga naman okay. As ang ganda pa lagi ng, ng, ng sinasabi, di ba? Pero, On top of that, nagtapos na siya, pero parang nagmumultiply yung mga worries yung mga problema mo. And, and sa layer, on top of that layer of problems sa work, you have another layer of problems sa pamilya. So, I think two months ago, uh, before, we get, before we went home for, for holiday, uh, hashtag blessed. <laughs> Tumawag yung ate ko. Sabi niya, Uh, actually, sabi niya, pwede ka bang tawagan? Pagka ganun yung message niya, kinakabahan ako eh. Sabi ko, oh sure. So, to, yun na nga. Ito na nga, may problema. Uh, our 86-year-old mom, nat- nadulas. Nabagok yung ulo. Laki ng bukol. So, feeling niya kasi, mata- bata pa siya. <laughs> feeling niya kasi, nakakalakad pa siya ng maayos. So, she, she, was, she was eating, she's eating, she's eating sa, sa, sa dining. And then narinig niyang kumahol yung aso. So, she, what she used to, used to do is she will go out and then she will feed. So, may, nakakalakad pa naman siya pero more na may tungkod na siya. So, he, he, she will use a cane. So, dahil siguro excited siya na walang katulong, na walang gagawang iba, ako gagawa. So, parang ganun. Siguro excited siya. She went out without the tungkod. And yun, nakita na lang siya nung kasambahay namin na sa labas, natumba nga siya. 
And laki ng bukol, no? So, pero sabi ko sa ate ko, we'll, let's pray. Wala naman tayong mga gagawin. We'll, we'll pray for, uh, sabi kasi ng doctor, wala namang makikita sa scan pa yan, eh. So, you have to observe first, no? And then after, uh, the next day, after several hours, saka pa lang siya ma-scan. So, I was, I was telling her to calm down. I was telling her to let me pray for, for it. Pero <laughs> deep inside me, ang dami ko nang iniisip kasi nga si warrior ako na parang two and a half years ko siyang nakita. Baka mamaya pag uwi ko, hindi niya na ako makilala. An ano mangyayari? I I've been thinking a lot of those things. And I'm not telling my wife about it. It's just in my... Kasi akala ko okay na ako kasi I will pray for it. And we know that she will be fine. Diba? So, but then you still have those worries. And on top of what you already have sa office. And then you become weak. And then sometimes, dahil sa sobrang dahil mong iniisip, dahil weak ka na nga, then you are easy, easily fail. You easily sin. <laughs> diba? That's why, mga kapatid, that's why Jesus came down to it. That's why Jesus came down to this world. Kahit ang hina na natin, we are weak, but God absorbed all those sins no, into His death and He raised it up in His resurrection. Niligtas tayo ni Lord dahil, hindi naman dahil mabait tayo, you know. Niligtas tayo ni Lord dahil we need it. Amen? We need God, we need Jesus in our life. So I want to invite you today, I want to invite you to please, please get real. No? Get real with Jesus. Ad admit mo sa kanya how many times you become Jacob. How many times you became Jacob, mga kapatid. I acknowledge mo na sometimes swindler ka, sometimes schemer ka, you steal, you squander. And not just affecting the lives of others, not just affecting the lives of your family, but your own self. Yes, and yung mga worries, and yung mga sins and failures. But then, again, we are always being reminded of our Lord that all we need to do is trust God. So I want to tell you to please continue to trust God Iyan yung antidote ng worries, eh, yung trust and gratefulness. Everything that you do, maliit, malaki, be grateful for it. Amen? Trust and gratefulness. Remind natin yung sarili natin, pang sampung beses ko na itong sinabi. Tapikin mo ulit yung katabi mo. You are already blessed. You are already blessed, mga kapatid. Amen? So I will close. No, I will close with this long prayer about prayer of surrender. No. Let's all stand up. And to everybody here, to all of you here na masaya, to all of you here na joyful and uh, and feeling blessed and because you you are promoted or you got your increment, you have a happy family, your relationship is strong. Yes, thank you, Lord. Praise natin si Lord for that, okay? Yung mga nanonood online, yes, let's praise and let's worship Lord for that blessings, those graces. But, okay, so, but for all those, no, that having this heavy heart, yung mga burden sa puso natin, we have all these anxieties, all worries, problems. Let's all praise and let's all pray to God no and and surrender ourselves to him in, in Jesus name in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit let's place ourselves entirely in Jesus heart no surrender not and this pray and surrender our whole life our whole self yung mga imagination natin yung mga mga emotions natin, the passions that we have, the desires for human approval, yung mga weaknesses natin, yung mga sins natin. Let's pray and so, that we are able to surrender to God 
or each person in our lives. Pray and surrender every situation, bad or good, in your life right now. Surrender every relationship that you are in your life right now. Pray and surrender all the concerns, your fear, doubt, your confusion. Surrender all the sadness if you are sad tonight and you, ever you are experiencing in your heart right now. Mike. Surrender that to the Lord. Surrender all the wounds that you have, those anxieties, all our worries that you have right now. Let's all pray and ask to our Lord God to care for us and be perfectly, in perfectly loving way. And as we now emptied ourselves, let's pray to our Lord God to fill us, fill us with every gift and fruit of the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to be with us as He is the source of our love, the love, source of hope, joy, peace, patience, goodness, tenderness, humility, faithfulness, and self-control. Ask the Holy Spirit to help us purify our desires. Ask the Holy Spirit to help us open our hearts to our Lord God. To help us to become perfectly receptive to all His blessings. Help us to believe in your love for us, Lord God. All this, Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And on, on, through the most holy, immaculate Virgin Mary, through your intercession, we entrust this prayer to your heart, Mama Mary. And we ask you to press it, press it to your heart and intercede for me, for us, to your son, Jesus. Help us to be as you are, Mama Mary, a perfect disciple, an obedient servant, and a true child of God. All this we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Let's all worship our Lord God. Let's all praise Him tonight and let's all praise the King of Kings, the God of Gods. Let's all praise and sing for our God tonight. Jesus for us. 
sake you died Praise the Father Praise the Son Praise the Spirit Three in one God of glory the morning that you rose all of heaven held its breath till that stone was moved for good for the lamb has conquered death and the dead rose from their tombs and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who come to the father are restored and the church of Christ was born Then the Spirit lit the flame Now this gospel truth of old Shall not kneel, shall not fade By His blood and in His name In His freedom I am free For the love of Jesus Christ Who has resurrected me Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your grace, Lord God. Let's all praise God tonight. Let's all surrender our life to God, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Every war is your heart. Pahala na si Lord. Na kay Lord na yun. Let it go. Let it go. Let God be God. Pagdasal po natin ang ating mga prayers, everything in our hearts, yung mga dreams natin, lift, lift natin. You'll pray for it. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, think about your dreams, mga kapatid. O loving Father, 
We lift up to you our dreams, all our prayers, Lord, everything that's in our hearts, our desires, Lord, and we, we surrender, Lord, all that we ask and pray to you. And Lord, through your will, in your most perfect time, Lord, we know, Lord, and we trust and we believe that this will all be done. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the blessing, for blessing us with patience in waiting. Thank you for blessing us with, with trusting and believing and waiting. All this, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Amen. Bro Albert, let's continue praising the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, Bro Don, it's a very powerful talk. I, do, I think I don't need to ask people if you are all blessed. Because Bro Don already mentioned that we are blessed. Indeed, we are all blessed. And ano pa yung sinabi ni Bro Don? Napaka sarap ng feeling na malaman natin. Yung magkaroon tayo ng faith that really God has an abundance of blessings for us. Di ba? Parang you feel secure, di ba? Marinig mo na God has abundance of blessings in store for us. And i-add, i-add ko lang kay Bro Don na Yes, we are warriors, but next time, in due time, we will become warriors because yes. of God. Yes. And brothers and sisters, um, is it okay if I will plant seeds to each and everybody, to each and every one of you, pati sa mga online viewers natin, is it okay if I plant seeds sa inyo? It's, if you are comfortable, please close your eyes. And I would really love to plant this seed sa inyo because it also was uh, done to me and I accepted it. As I say my words or the things that I'm going to say, imagine that somebody is doing this to you or God is doing this right in front of you. Did it occur to you or happen to you, for example, that you're so busy, you didn't have any time to sit down? Then when you sit down, what we usually say, Hi, salamat. But maybe we can change that into, Thank you, Lord. Every time you will sit down, or you will have that opportunity to sit, or whatever it is, you will say, thank you, Lord. Every time you have a good meal, you will say, thank you, Lord. Every time you had a good day, you will say, thank you, Lord. Every time you have a good weather for that day, you will say, thank you, Lord. Every time you have a good time with your family, you will say, thank you, Lord. Even for the simplest things, you will say, thank you, Lord. At first, it will be subconscious, uh, it will be consciously, we're going to do it consciously. But eventually, it will be done subconsciously. That everything you do, you will, hindi na natin mapapasabing sana all. Wala nang sana all. Mapapasabi tayo, Thank you, Lord. Hindi na sana all, kundi thank you, Lord. And tonight, we have a... Uh, meron tayong biglaang L.O. Sharer. And uh, through Holy Spirit, biglang na lang talaga, nabigla din siya ako, nabigla din ako siya pala yung L.O. Sharer natin. I would like to call on, medyo mahihain siya, Tato, uh, Sis... Karin. Good evening po, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Sorry, biglaan nga talaga. <laughs> um, uh, yung isa-share ko po is how God 
has blessed us in so many ways. Um, kunting ano lang, backstory lang. So, uh, I think three years ago, um, nung pumunta ako ng Singapore, um, nakaipon ako ng kaunti from, sorry, this is ano pala, sharing ng ano, ng financial. <laughs> ano, nakaipon ako ng kaunti from my um, back pay from my previous company. And then, at the same time, yung boyfriend ko, nag, may ipon din siya. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, ano, um, that time, na, 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 naisipan na yun mag-invest. Nag-invest kami sa cryptocurrency. So, that time, hindi pa siya masyadong boom. <laughs> okay, um, tapos kami, sobrang out of curiosity, tinry namin, at, at nag, may researches din naman na ginawa. So, um, actually, first year or first one and a half years, sobrang negative, sobrang down, as in 50 to 70 percent. But then, um, hindi kami na give up. I still continue to pray, and I even wrote down in my first love offering na ano, three years from now, ma mababayaran ko din bahay na kinuha ko. Hindi. <laughs> so, ayun na nga. Fast forward, two years, na-bless na, na kami ni Lord. So, after uh, patiently waiting and pr praying persistently, um, ayun nga, medyo nagigreen na siya. <laughs> so, parang na... na ayun. <laughs> so, parang nabawi na namin yung, yung na-invest namin and may, may bonus pa. <laughs> so, so, ang lesson, di, ang lesson ko dito is yun niya, um, pray persistently and uh, trust God. And yung mga pinipray mo, hindi siya directly ibibless sa'yo ni Lord. O baka meron siyang kukuning instrument for you to make it happen. So, it may be your friend, it's, it may be your, your boyfriend in my, in my, ano, in my case. <laughs> so, yun nga, di ba na-mention ko na three years ago, sinulat ko sa love offering ko na I hope mabayaran ko in uh, ma, ma fully paid ko yung ba nagulo na ako <laughs> so i hope ma fully paid ko yung ano yung bah na kinuha ko kasi kasi ano originally kasi from summer kami so yung parents ko yung mama ko teacher siya so um lumipat sila ng Maynila nakipagsapalaran <laughs> yun yung term tapos hanggang 2019 nang upahan lang po kami so no pumunta ako Singapore ano <laughs> ayun nakakuha ng bahay Di pa. <laughs> so, yung unang-una kong prayer talaga, isang bayaran ko siya full, uh, ng fully paid three years later. Kasi syempre, ayaw natin ng, ng interest rate na pataas ang pataas. Pero, si Lord, yung prayer ko, in an, in, in an, ano, the, he, he answered it in a different way. So, um, lately lang, kami ng boyfriend ko, nakapag-open na ng business. <laughs> So, ito na nga, yung, uh, yung name is yung ano, franchise ng Avocadoria PH. So, yun nga. <laughs> so, pag napada po kayo ng Ayala Mons, Manila Bay, <laughs> bakit na ano po. <laughs> so, yun lang. Yung lesson is uh, maging patient ka kasi uh, hindi agad-agad ibibigay sa'yo ni Lord. Ititest ka niya ng maraming beses kasi sa case namin, for the first 18 months, Wala, wala, as in zero, pati yung, tas yung boyfriend ko, nawalan din siya ng work until nag, yun nga, nag-aral siya ng maraming ways how to, how to, ano, increase yung streams namin para masustain din niya. Kasi wala din siyang, di siya, wala siyang work at time, as in. So, parang si Lord, yun na, yun yung way niya na i-bless kami. Kasi ako, yun nga, ginagawa ko din, palagi din ako nag-pipray kahit malayo. Tas isang, isang blessing din is kahit malayo kami for, Three years na is strong pa din. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> Ayun lang. <laughs> so, um, ano ba ba? Um, <laughs> uh, lang, maging prayerful po tayo sa mga, sa mga ano, nangyayari sa buhay natin. May it be big or small, we must be always thankful to God and to the people around us. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sis Karine. Sobrang dami mo na bless today. 
And tama nga yung sinasabi ni Sis Karin, always pray. Kasi every time you pray, ito yung nangyayari sa prayer natin eh. Naging, napapackage na siya. Napapackage na siya. Ang problema lang. I mean, it's not a problem. What's happening is, wala lang nakalagay kung kailan darating yung package, di ba? Nagpapack na ni Lord yan eh, yung mga prayers natin. Pero hindi lang natin alam kung kailan darating. So, in times na tayo ay nasa uh, uh, waiting room ni Lord, that is what when we should grow our faith. Yeah. Mapapa-thank you Lord na lang talaga tayo. Thank you Lord lang tayo ng thank you Lord. And darating na lang talaga yung time na pa parang mapapasabi tayo. Hi. Thank you Lord. <laughs> And makigets nyo din natin yan lahat when time comes. And it's time to share our blessings to the Lord. Let's raise our love offerings to the Lord. And uh, let's pray for it. Dear God, O oh Lord, thank you for all the provisions and blessings that you are giving us. Thank you, O oh Lord God, that you are giving us the opportunity to bless, to be blessed, and to receive all the wonderful things in, in, in our life. And that's because of your grace and the abundance of blessings that you are giving us. Thank you for giving us the safety or the peace of mind that there is an abundance blessing. Lord, we pray that you give us more trust and faith in you. Bless us this, O Lord God. And all our prayers, O Lord God, we surrender this up to you. You know, surrender namin all our challenges, all the tribulations in our life, and all the battles that we are fighting silently. Because we know, Lord God, that we are not fighting alone. We are fighting with you, O Lord God. We surrender this blessing to you, O Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy God. Thank you, Lord God. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, do you want more? Yes! 
All right, we are going to shout victoriously, dance victoriously, and we are so blessed that we are going to have our DM ministry to dance and show us how to dance this wonderful song. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Morning service, everybody. Be true thinking. All right. <laughs>